American Badger, the less famous cousin of the Honey Badger When you think about a badger, what image pops into your head? There's a pretty good chance it was a honey badger. And who could blame you? The honey badger is a pretty ferocious animal known for its violent tendencies. They fearlessly confront much larger animals like lions and hyenas and even take on venomous snakes. Honey badgers are small but mighty creatures that don't back down from a challenge. But you know who doesn't get enough love in the animal kingdom? The American badger, of course. So today, let's show some love to the American badger and get the word out about these cute but scary creatures. History So, as always, let's start off with the history of the American badger and where you can find these little guys, shall we? Well, the American badger is found across North America. I know, shocker. More specifically, its range stretches from Canada down to Mexico, with notable populations in states like California, Oregon, Washington, and Texas. Get ready for some real science, because what's cool about the American badger is that it's a member of the Mustelidae family, which includes other carnivorous mammals like weasels, otters, ferrets, and even the mighty wolverine. I bet you can see the resemblance now. It specifically belongs to the Taxodinae subfamily, one of the four subfamilies of badgers in the Mustelid family. The other subfamilies are the Melanae, European badgers, Helictodinae, ferret badgers, and Melivorinae, honey badgers. The American badger actually prefers grasslands and open areas that include parklands, farms, and treeless regions with loose soil. They can also be found in forest glades, meadows, marshes, brushy areas, hot deserts, and mountain meadows. In Arizona, American badgers occur in desert scrub and semi-arid grasslands, while in California, they rely on a combination of open grasslands and agricultural lands, protected land trust and open space lands, and regional, state, and national parklands with grassland habitat. The American badger's use of home range varies depending on the season and sex. Different areas within their home range are utilized more frequently at different times, often corresponding to the availability of prey. What this means is male badgers generally have larger home ranges than females. Studies have shown that their annual home range can span an average of 2,100 acres 850 hectares, with specific ranges for individual badgers varying throughout the year. Here's a fun fact. The density of American badgers in certain areas has been estimated to be 1 per square mile 2.6 square kilometers. When it comes to cover requirements, American badgers need shelter for sleeping, protection from the weather, concealment, and natal denning, which means housing their babies. What's cool, but kind of depressing, is that they typically enlarge existing burrows of prey animals like gophers or other mammals. Their dens range from about 4 to 10 feet in depth and 4 to 6 feet in width. Female badgers may create multiple burrows in close proximity, connected by tunnels, to provide safety and protection for their young. Think of it as a maze made of dirt. The displaced soil from digging the burrow is often seen in front of the entrance, creating a mound-like roof. During the summer and autumn, badgers range more frequently and may dig and use several burrows in a day before moving on. In winter, a single den may be used for an extended period. The natal dens, where females raise their young, are large and more complex than their diurnal dens. But if we look back, the American badger has a pretty long history on the continent. While Native American tribes were familiar with these creatures long before European settlers arrived, the first scientific description of the species occurred in 1792 by a naturalist named George Ord. And when it comes to family ties, the American badger's closest relative is the ancient Chamatataxis. The American badger is basically the original in the Mustelidae family because it's actually the most ancient species. It split from the rest of the Mustelidae around 18 million years ago, right after the Mustelids broke off from the Procyonids 
about 29 million years ago. And since then, these little guys have lived in the shadow of their honey cousins. Pretty tragic. Description Moving on, let us paint you a picture of the American badger's look, so if you ever run across one in the wild, you won't confuse it with the honey badger. Well, the American badger sadly shares many common physical traits with other badger species. They have a stocky and low-slung body shape with short, powerful legs. The American badger's actual appearance is characterized by a grizzled coat of coarse hair or fur. The coat combines shades of brown, black, and white, creating a mixed brown-tan appearance. This coloration provides effective camouflage in their grassland habitats. The badger's face has a distinctive pattern, with black and white markings. Cheeks often bear brown or blackish badges, and a white stripe extends from the nose all the way to the base of the head. In the T. T. berlandieri subspecies, this white head stripe continues along the entire length of the body, reaching the base of the tail. However, all of this aside, one of the most distinctive features of the American badger is its enormous foreclaws, which can grow up to 5 centimeters, 2 inches, in length. These foreclaws are ideal for digging and burrowing, and when we say ideal, we mean perfect. American badgers possess specific morphological characteristics to further excel at their digging lifestyle. They have a conical-shaped head adorned with bristles on their ears and nictating membranes in their eyes. These modifications protect their sensitive ears and eyes while digging in the soil. Also, the badger's forelimbs are built for strength and power. They have a robust humerus bone and large bony processes providing strong muscle attachment points. Specialized bones, such as the radius and metacarpals, contribute to the mechanical advantage of their forelimbs. In terms of size, male American badgers are slightly larger than females. On average, they measure between 60 and 75 centimeters in length. Female badgers typically weigh around 6.3 to 7.2 kilograms, 14 to 16 pounds, while males can reach weights of up to 8.6 kilograms, 19 pounds. However, some northern subspecies like T. T. jeffersoni can be even heavier than their southern counterparts. During the fall season, when food is abundant, adult male badgers can bulk up and reach weights of 11.5 to 15 kilograms, 25 to 33 pounds. Isn't that crazy? Try to imagine a 15 kilogram badger. Diet As we mentioned before, the American badger is a carnivore specialized in digging and is well adapted for a fossorial lifestyle. Their diet clearly reflects their lifestyle. It primarily consists of various small animals, including pocket gophers, ground squirrels, moles, marmots, prairie dogs, pika, wood rats, kangaroo rats, deer mice, and voles. They are skilled at digging to pursue their prey into their underground dens and are even known to plug tunnel entrances with objects. One notable aspect of the American badger's diet is its predation on snakes particularly rattlesnakes. In fact, they are considered the most significant predator of snakes in regions like South Dakota. I know, these little guys eating snakes? That's a crazy thought. Additionally, they prey on ground-nesting birds, such as the bank swallow or sand martin, and the burrowing owl as well. And they also consume lizards, amphibians, carrion, fish, skunks, including Mephitis and Spilogale species, insects, including bees and honeycomb, and even certain plant foods like corn, peas, green beans, mushrooms, and sunflower seeds. What we're trying to say is that the American badger basically eats any and everything. Behavior Finally, let's talk about what makes the American badger stand out from the rest. The American badger is known for its aggressive behavior and fearless nature. Despite its small size, it doesn't hesitate to confront large predators when threatened. With fierce determination, it will stand its ground, ready to defend itself with its arsenal of sharp claws, powerful jaws, and strong forelimbs. Its tenacity and fearlessness make it a formidable opponent in any confrontation. 
But that doesn't mean that the American badger is an apex predator. In fact, it still faces threats from other species within its habitat. Predation on American badgers has been observed from golden eagles, coyotes, and bobcats. Occasionally, bears and gray wolves may also prey on them. However, a 2019 study revealed that cougars are the primary predators of adult badgers. Cougars hunt badgers more frequently than other carnivores, and there have been documented cases where badgers are among the main prey of radio-collared cougars. So, there's this really interesting tactic that the badgers have come up with, their cooperation with coyotes. Typically, this partnership involves one badger and one coyote working together. However, studies have documented cases where two coyotes accompanied one badger, or even one badger collaborated with three coyotes. Researchers have found that this partnership benefits both predators. The coyotes experience an increased catch rate of approximately 33%, while the badger spends more time underground and active, potentially conserving energy. The success of this partnership can be attributed to the different hunting styles of the predators and how their prey responds to them. Ground squirrels, for instance, seek refuge in their burrows when faced with a coyote, but when confronted by a badger, they opt to flee above ground, relying on their speed to outpace the badger. By working together, the prey's vulnerability is heightened, resulting in a successful hunt for both predators. Now, did you ever think that a badger and a coyote could possibly work together? So, we hope this sheds some light on the lesser-known American badger who lives in its cousin's shadows. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time!